Yo, what is up guys? This is Pedro here. Today we got some big news. So Washington has signed guard Kevin Pamphili and linebacker Donald Payne. They also announced that Bryce Love has passed his physical and will be ready for the 2020 season. So I'm going to be talking about what type of impact he will be making and I'm going to be talking about Washington possibly signing a veteran wide receiver. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. So Ian Rapport reported earlier today. He said the Washington football team has signed former Titans guard, but he's also a tackle. Kevin Panfili to add depth on their offensive line. Source said he is past the physical and will be in the building. It might be Kevin Panfield, but... Uh, that's how I'm going to pronounce it for now. And then we, I'll go into their stats and everything in a bit, but I'll just announce both of them real quick. And then uh, Ben Standig also said Washington signed Donald Payne. So <laughs> very similar to Duran Payne. Pretty funny. Um, per sources, Payne uh, played 30 games for the Jags since 2017, started five games last year, and had games with 13, 15, 13, and 16 tackles. Interesting addition with Foster to the pup list. Seemed like enough linebackers in the mix regardless. I have similar feelings to that because we have so many linebackers. We have a couple of decent ones, but a lot of them are depth guys like Kevin Pierre-Lewis, uh, Josh Harvey Clemens, Sean Dion Hamilton I think can be a really good player, but he hasn't proven it in the league yet. And we got a lot of linebacker depth, Khalid Hudson as well. So it is interesting that are, they are doing this, especially right after the news that uh, Ruben Foster's on the pup list, it could just be insurance and, oh, they also have John Bostic, but maybe if Ruben Foster is ready for the season, then they will just waive Donald Payne or release Donald Payne. That's my feeling, but it is pretty um, weird, the timing of it. And then, <clears throat> sorry, uh, let's go on to Donald Payne and then we're going to be talking about um, Bryce Love being cleared and he passes physical. So this is Donald Payne. He's a three-year player. Nothing crazy, nothing. Uh, he hasn't uh, done a lot in this league. Played 13 games his rookie year, then eight, and then nine. Last year was his biggest year, I guess. Played in nine games, starred five of them, had one pass deflection, a fumble recovery, a sack, 61 total tackles, uh, three tackles for a loss. So nothing special. And I looked at his coverage stats, not great at all allowing an 84.6% completion percentage, uh, not great, and an 143 pass rating, so not good at all. Wasn't targeted a bunch, but still not a good coverage linebacker, not someone you want there back in coverage. He is a middle linebacker, so hopefully, hopefully, um, he, I, I doubt he makes the team. He's more of a camp bod, but if he does impress in camp, he could possibly make the team, and especially if Ruben Foster is hurt. And who knows, there's been so many players, especially from the Patriots, opting out this season that we don't know if it could be possibly someone's, um, someone has opted out, and we have no idea, so... It, that just could be the case, especially since we did just sign a uh, Kevin Pamphili or P Kevin Pamphil, um, six foot five, three hundred fifteen pounds, offensive tackle slash guard. Uh, he actually has some pretty good experience, so this signing isn't actually that bad. Played with Tampa Bay from twenty fourteen to twenty seventeen. Uh, played guard and tackle, and was actually from twenty fifteen. Uh, to twenty actually twenty sixteen to twenty seventeen. He really was a Pretty good starter, played in 14, and then 16 games, and then 2018 was his last year playing in the NFL. Uh, played in three games and started two of them, so maybe he was hurt, uh, and that's why he didn't start a lot of them. But it is good that he is an experienced um, player and has some starting experience, which is nice. We'll see how he ends up, if he actually makes a team. I think he definitely, we did, uh, we uh, released Jeremy Vujinovic, so I think Mike Ledke is going to get released. We'll see about this guy. Could be a camp body, could end up making the team. Who knows? Relatively young, 29, I think. Yep, 29 years old. So we'll see about that. Also, actually, let's go into the Bryce Love thing first, and then we'll talk about it. But the thing I'm surprised at, we just signed two different players at positions that we kind of need, but we still haven't signed a a wide receiver, which I really do think we need to sign one. So um, here it is. J.P. Finley said, uh, Washington running back Bryce Love passes physical and should be practicing once the team returns to the field. He missed all of 2019, 
So that is very, very good news. It means he's going to be uh, doing everything everyone else is who is on the active roster. He's fully healthy, which is really good to know because if he wasn't healthy, then he could have been put on the pup list just like uh, Ruben Foster was. So really, really good news right there. And I think he can make a big, big impact for us. Not necessarily this year. I think this is going to be his kind of trial year. But next year, especially when we do probably move on from Adrian Peterson, I do think he can have a really, really big year. And then also, J.P. Finley, they all had a press conference or a meeting with Ron Rivera. And he said, Rivera says if there was a position position of concern and most certainly would be wide receiver depth and that just confuses me right there because you just said if there was a position of concern it would most likely be wide receiver depth well you just signed two different players at positions that aren't wide receiver a tackle slash guard and a linebacker and you even just said we need wide receiver depth so we better be signing someone soon and I'm honestly fine if it isn't a big name player like Josh Gordon or um, Antonio Brown or someone like that. Just sign someone because we do need some depth. We do need someone leading our young wide receivers. And yeah, it's it's been weird. And I just saw something about uh, Donald Payne that was not great. So this, uh, it is obviously PFF, which can be inconsistent, but Donald Payne, Great in 348 snaps last season, 26.9, which is terrible. Last among 95 eligible linebackers. So really, really, really bad. Probably just a camp pod, I hope. Terrible in coverage, like I said earlier. And yeah, just not a great player overall. And we'll see how it we we we'll see how it uh how what happens so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please smash like button and also just in eagles wide receiver marquis goodwin plans to opt out for the 2020 season so there's some big news right there hope you guys enjoyed peace